and beat this poor guy up. But the incredible thing is the local news and the newest stories is is going with the fact that it looks like the police have been caught lying as usual, but that's not the issue. Um, if you go to um, Infowars.com and read the local news story we have posted, they spin it and say, there was a fight. And 90% of the time when the police on video beat somebody up that isn't touching them, they always call it a scuffle or a fight. And they go, oh, the officer was fighting with a citizen. Now, when clearly a slave or citizen actually hits the cop first, it's called a deadly assault with a deadly weapon, his fist. But when they attack you, it's called a fight or a scuffle. They can be bashing your head in with blood pouring out. It's called a scuffle. And, and so the news uh, tries to uh, spin it. In fact, when we come back, I want to go over this. They try to spin it saying an Oklahoma Highway Patrol officer and paramedic were caught on tape scuffling Sunday while a patient was being taken to the hospital. That's News 9. I mean, is that not spin? Oh, at the Nazi death camps, the Jews were caught scuffling. Or in the Soviet Union, the Ukrainians were caught scuffling with the Soviets. We'll be back after this. It's the Info Warrior. All right, we are back, and we're on the line with Alex Jones, and really just more news on this EMT beating. You know, if he had cowed down, and this was the guy who was tending to the woman inside, inside the ambulance, he thinks this is finally over, we're going to get to go to the hospital. No, you're under arrest, you're under arrest. And because he stood up for himself and he said, no, there's a state law, I'm not going to be your slave, they didn't arrest him. They just tried to choke him out. And the guy literally has to try to put both of his hands around the guy's neck and still can't connect his fingers because this guy's a real man. You know, he's trying to save lives. He's not trying to take them, Alex. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, to describe it for those that haven't seen the video, the guy is standing with his back there, knowing they want to kill him, letting them shove him and choke him. And in fact, they wanted to. They know by choking you with with one hand at first that what that does is cause people to panic and fight. And so they're trying to make him fight so they can kill him. It's clear. And and this is not police procedure. This is not what they're taught to do. And so the guy is sitting there as the choking goes on and on. And he knows they're just waiting, hands on guns. It's been reported, ready to kill, ready to. This is how they show off in the weight room and stuff when they're uh, doing what they do. And and it's just so horrible. But the but the craziest part is that there was another case in Oklahoma where they threw the kid off of the bridge and then tasered him. It was something like fifty something times and said that was normal. Mm -hmm. And then you know his back was broken and everything, and the kid was just walking home from work at a restaurant where he worked. Uh, I mean, you know, it, it, it's but but the insane thing is is the way this is described, the cops ran up at super high speed behind the ambulance. It was in traffic with its lights on. This is what the police are admitting now. And the, the ambulance couldn't get around them. And so the police car almost caused a wreck, according to witnesses, shot past them. And when they were done with that, they came back for them, and they started screaming at the driver. Uh, and then now they're saying, well, earlier he assaulted us just totally made up and witnesses are saying that's not true and then they go and then the other guys in the back of the car and you know he's been attending uh, the, the lady and they go after him because he starts yelling at him saying I'm going to keep giving her aid but but the insane thing is I was driving down I-35 and there wasn't very heavy traffic south of Austin uh, about 3 weeks ago and I think the name of the town is Skirts or Shirts. It was a, it was a it was a blue on blue where you know those new police cars was a Charger, mm -hmm. uh, Dodge Charger where you can barely see it's a police car. And I'm in the slow lane because I'm I don't like getting tickets. And I'm going with the flow of traffic. I'm going about 71 miles an hour. I got cruise control on. There's two lanes to the left of me. There's light traffic, and all of a sudden. With its lights on, there is a charger going probably 100 miles an hour, flies up and slows down literally two feet from the back of my car. And I'm like, oh, my God. And my wife's like, oh, my children are like, oh. Because you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, I look back and I see just flying up on me. And, I, and then he, I think I'm getting pulled over. He just stays on me and then violently flies out in the other lane and shoots off. And then you know, we see him pull some guy over. Uh, who, by the way, wasn't speeding. He was about you know 20 cars up from us, about a half mile. Psychopathic. I was leaving one night at like midnight from work there at the office on 290, and 
there's three lanes right there where you get on to uh, to uh, you know on the access road where you get on to the main 290, and I pull out and I pull out in the slow lane. And there's no car coming. I don't even see lights. This cop car must have been going 100 again. He flies up behind me, and I didn't, and I couldn't tell it was a cop car because his lights weren't on. You know, uh, his cherries. He flies around me, and then it isn't enough. He shines like the side spotlight on the on the on the top lights in my face, and it looks like the wind is down, but I can't really see. Just in an orgasm of insane thuggery. So so you know. This is happening to me. I don't need to, to you know, just believe all these videos. And you guys keep making excuses about how you're acting. You are out of your mind. You act, you're acting like 14-year-olds you know, that first start having testosterone flow through them heavy, beating up 10-year-olds. And I remember that happening, you know, when the 14-year-olds were beating me up when I was 10. But the problem was I grew up. You guys... And they admit that over 30% of police are on heavy steroids. This is a big national story. It is mental illness. It is sickness. Anytime you start violating the Bill of Rights, the culture then degrades. And the sick part is the media is defending it, saying an Oklahoma Highway Patrolman and a paramedic were caught on tape scuffling Sunday while a patient was being taken to the hospital. There's no scuffling. The guy's going, hey, I'm doing my job, man. And they say, no, you're under arrest. And then start shoving him and choking him, and he doesn't. I mean, this is this is mind control. Now, when they assault you, it's called a fight. Well, listen, Burmis, uh, please continue taking calls, and I'll continue listening. To the All show right, here. And uh, but I, listen, I want I want witnesses and people on the show tomorrow and Sunday with us. All right, you got it, Alex. I thank you so much. We'll be back yeah, after be, this. this is- Go ahead.